How you doing? I'm Nate Robinson, head football coach here at Graceland University. Going to my seventh year here, my second as the head coach. Ready to get rolling. Recap of last season. Um, unfortunately, we weren't able to get any wins, but I have a lot of talent coming back. Um, kind of led by offensively um, our receivers, um, Mr. Caleb Thomas, Mr. Dante Silentius, and Mr. Taz Richardson, as well as got some key returners on defense. Um, those are led by Mr. Carson Quint and Tevin Cameron, our, one of our star linebackers. So speaking offensively, we have Dante, as well as Mr. Caleb Thomas, who was first team all conference receivers. Um, also Taz Richardson, who was second team all conference receiver. They're kind of leading the pack, uh, having a lot of firepower at receiver. Um, we also have some young talent coming in at running back um, with the older group of old offensive linemen, who we think was going to be pretty good. So we're, we're excited to see that on defense. We're led by Mr. Tevin Cameron, who's our do-everything linebacker, um, him as well as Carson Quint on the back end, everything, uh, being that safety. So we are liking what we're seeing um, coming up. We have a lot of young talent came, that came in. We feel like we're a lot bigger, a lot more athletic this year. So we're, we're looking to get after it. So the biggest difference, I would say, between this year, this year and last year is coaching staff, the supporting cast. So we've promoted Willie Lawrence to our defensive coordinator. I was fortunate enough to bring in Jeff Whitehall as my offensive coordinator, both of which are Grayson alum. We talk about the family feel, the family atmosphere, having those two. We also was able to add a few more alumni to the, to the staff with Mr. Adam Positary, um, Mr. Tommy Breger, as well as Mr. Kenny Newman. So what with, with, with you'll see this year there's a lot of grace in the alum. We talk about the family feel of everything. So having a lot of those gentlemen that came back, a lot of which I'm very familiar with, um, it's just a different feel to the, to the staff as well as a kind of a bigger staff this year. So I would say that's the biggest difference between last year and this year is the support and staff. So with it being an odd year this year with obviously the COVID issues and things that has popped up, um, recruiting, it was kind of different, but the thing we kept selling is the family feel that we have here at Graceland. Obviously talking about the coaching staff and the individuals I was able to bring back to the staff that has the Graceland connections, um, they're understanding we're selling that as well as we're making sure it gets back to that close family feel. Um, we did a great job of still getting a lot of individuals in. Um, the big thing of bringing some of those coaches in was tie in and make sure we do a lot better in the in the sense the local area that two to three hour radius. So um, we've hit that hard. We'll continue to hit that hard, and we've also continued our connections with the rest of um, the states we've been good at. So the family feel, the family focus is one of the things that we push on the forefront here, and we're going to continue to do that. So. So not only with the COVID, but the other issues and tension that's going on in the world. One thing we try to have our players understand that it's about conversation. It's about understanding, not about agreeing a lot of times. So the fact that we as coaches are able to sit down and have conversations and understand each other's standpoint, as well as make sure the players are in that kind of environment as well, to be able to sit down and have open and honest conversation with each other and just come to agreement and understanding of who we are as people. And that kind of helped build that family atmosphere that we talk about. And that's one of the things that, one of the reasons I feel like we'll be very successful this year is that family feel, the open, honest conversation, dialogue, and play some good football. First game of the season, September 12th, we'll be playing at Baker. You can find more information on gujackets.com.